So as we learned just a few weeks ago, Walmart is selling knockoff versions of my very own invention and using the photos from my Instagram page to sell that invention. And that got me thinking, are there other inventions out there that maybe I knocked off other people or maybe other people are knocking off me for their invention and neither of us knew what was going on or they completely knew what was going on and just ripped me off. So I found a little collection of inventions that are maybe knockoffs of mine and today we're gonna test them out. And maybe I'll give them like an unnecessary rating and try to figure out if I did it better, if they did it better, if it was just a coincidence that we knocked each other off. But let's dive into our very first one. So the very first one that I found comes to us from Daddy Bezos over at Amazon.com. And it is called the best birthday party ever birthday candle air cannon, safe fun way to blow out birthday candles, reusable, no batteries required. Why is it always such a mouthful with these Amazon listings? But we're looking at a two out of five star rating on this one so I don't have a lot of hope. But basically it's just like a miniature air cannon so that you can shoot out your birthday candles without spitting all over the cake. However, over on the wall of unnecessary, we've got the candle cannon. And I came out with this invention on September 20th I think it was over on Instagram and it was pretty much the same concept so you have these two little slots that you can slide your fingers into I think I did it backwards I don't even know how my own inventions work you slide your fingers into it this way and then this has like a little balloon on the back so you pull on this and it releases air out the other end and in theory it should have enough air to blow out your birthday candles during a covid conscious time and okay i maybe admit this one wasn't super unnecessary but every now and then i gotta let you guys know exactly what i'm capable of But here we have the knockoff candle cannon, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed. I like how the packaging kind of matches my shirt here. It feels really cheap. It definitely feels super cheap. I think this little handle just slides right into here to lock into place. I do appreciate that it has this little bullseye so you can really line things up before you shoot it. And similar to my design, it has this little rubbery part that you can pull back and it feels like it really doesn't do much in the air department. I literally don't feel any air. We gotta put this to the test. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So we've got both candle cannons here. Let's test out the knockoff first. Wait, I gotta do the, I gotta put up the little bullseye. Okay. Oh, we got a little action there. <laughs> this thing sucks. I cannot get it to go out. Okay, I'm definitely seeing why this has two star review. Nothing. All right. All right, let's try my candle cannon. First try Fridays. What do you know? Let's relight it and try it again. The knockoff, literally doing absolutely nothing. Now the unnecessary inventions version. Good night. All right, I don't even think I can give this two stars. This is a solid 0.5 stars. Unnecessary version, five out of five, amazing. So don't buy this. And then you can't buy mine, so it doesn't matter. Okay, for our next unnecessary invention, possible knockoff, we've got the laptop strap. And this one is from a company called Free Agent Outfitters. And basically it's just like a freestanding laptop strap, sort of like a camera strap for your MacBook. It says it has some serious grip and serious materials. And this one comes in a few different colors and sizes. I don't remember what I got, but it costs $40, so let's test it out. But wait, we first gotta remember which invention of mine it is knocking off. If we head back over to the wall of unnecessary, Move this guy out of here. Here. Ah, man. Here we have the Grip Book Pro, and it is sort of the same concept, is that it defies gravity and holds onto your MacBook for you. I invented the Grip Book Pro, the richest way to carry your MacBook Pro out and about around town. Our luxurious carrying device features a replica hand ergonomically designed to mimic your own grasp. Inside, you'll find our SureFit mounting bracket with non-slip pads that perfectly hug, hold, and firmly grip your high-priced portable computer. Throw it on and let it hang across your body from our solid gold chains. Now everyone around town will know you're another overly proud owner of an Apple device. 
All right, we'll just begin ripping this one apart and getting it opened up. Seems like there's multiple things in here though. Oh, the strap. So we got the strap, and I'm guessing this is the thing that makes it defy gravity. And of course it has a lengthy warning on it, because I'm sure they don't want you dropping your laptop. Mmm, directions. Are there? It is great to be a free agent and copy my invention ideas. Even though I, I don't think they did, but it's eerily similar. It's adhesive. What? So it has these like adhesive strips and I think I need to pull this off. Do it on that side, and then also do it on the other side. Ooh, I don't like how sticky it is. Let me get the strap out of here and get this set up. Buckle one. God, these buckles are difficult to open. Buckle, buckle two, maybe. There we go. The only issue I'm seeing is that the adhesive, I had them, they got stuck together while I was doing that. And now I gotta rip them apart. Okay. Now I guess I just put my computer on this adhesive or something. Ugh, I don't know if I want to. Okay, I guess I'll lay my computer down right here, push it against the adhesive, and then fold this section up over it, I guess, and put it on. Okay, well it doesn't leave any residue. That's nice, I didn't want my computer to get all sticky. All right, let's just see how this thing looks on me and it does feel extraordinarily secure. Like I actually do feel super confident that this thing isn't gonna go anywhere. And there is zero residue on here, but let's, oh, but it ripped off my sticker. Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess I should have thought of that. I like the look and feel of it. I just wouldn't want to have to do this every single time. Now we've got the Gripbook Pro from Unnecessary Inventions. You slide it right on here, and it does surprisingly hold on pretty well itself. I don't know if I could say I'm as confident as the other version that it's gonna hold on here, but I mean, just look at this. You cannot say that if you saw someone walking down the street with this purse MacBook holder, I just love the effect that it has of just the hand holding it. So what are we thinking, the Unnecessary Inventions version or the Free Agent Outfitters version? Let me know down in the comments which one of these MacBook holders that you would rock. I think you know the answer to mine. For our third invention, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. This one was actually on Shark Tank, and it was like the next morning I posted my version of it and everyone was commenting, didn't I just see this on Shark Tank last night? So the sequence of events on this one is actually pretty funny. But this one is called the Vabroom. It's a two-in-one sweeper with a built-in vacuum. So you know when you're like sweeping around with a broom and that little line of dust is left over? Well, this thing has a built-in vacuum so you can suck up that little line of dust or other little things. And if we check on Amazon super quick, it actually looks like it's currently on sale for only 60 bucks. I guess that's not too bad. But of course, I happen to come out with the same exact invention the same exact week that this thing was announced. Mine was called the Sweep and Suck, I think. I invented the Sweep Sucker, the household broom with an integrated mini vacuum for cleaning up just that last line of dirt from the dustpan. My dual-sided design combines a boring broom with a high suction vacuum for picking up your micro mess. So the next time you're cleaning your house and you've got almost everything swept, flip your broom 180 degrees and suck up that inevitable last line of dirt. And I think I'm fully assembled. My very first impressions is that it seems pretty quality. For whatever 60 bucks it is, it seems like it would do the trick. My only apprehension would be that I don't wanna have to charge my broom. You know, it's like if you're brooming, you're brooming. And if you're vacuuming, you're vacuuming. But I guess I could see where this could come in handy. I mean, I'm probably gonna use it. And so how it works is here on the broom, it's got this little tank right here that catches everything. And the way you activate it is when you push it on the ground, the vacuum goes off, which that seems pretty smart to me because you want it off when you're brooming and then when you want to do it, you just... I just cleaned the entire studio, so it's actually not too dirty in here. Maybe we're gonna have to make a mess to test it out. Once again, here's my version of the vacuum, and I can't lie, it actually kind of sucks. <laughs> you get it? It kind of sucks. It's pretty ergonomic, so I have a little vacuum built in here, but I don't think the battery is charged. So you would go ahead and sweep up everything you're sweeping up, and then you flip it upside down and vacuum off that little line. 
and it's already falling apart. <laughs> While the vabroom here, you know, you're sweeping, sweeping, and then... I actually feel like I approve of that. Let's go ahead and make a little line of crumbs to see how this thing sucks up. Well, I guess I could always just sweep it into a line. Okay, let's see how this thing works. Oh, look at that. It is sucking up every last piece of dirt. I missed one. I missed two. I gotta say, I am impressed. We got everything in that little hopper right there, and it would have been super easy if I had to use. So I hate to admit it, but mine versus theirs, I think they won. That's okay, I don't have to be the best at everything. For the next invention, I need to set up a little workstation here, and if you work from home, this thing might be just what you were looking for. We'll get my computer again and set up my webcam. Because have you ever been working from home and maybe you just wanna wear your PJs all day, but you gotta hop on a few Zoom calls? And that's where the next invention comes into play. Business on top, party on the bottom. Cause it's called the work one -y. And it's a one piece suit, I believe, that is going to be pajamas on the bottom and business attire up top. Which of course I exactly to the T invented and came out with. But to be fair, it's sort of like low hanging fruit because who didn't think of this invention during COVID? First impression. Quality's there, Qual quality is there. <laughs> Let me go find mine real quick. Because I wanted to show the one difference of why I maybe like mine a little bit more over the official one you can buy. Mine are like feety pajamas and these ones just are like sweatpants. I wanna keep my toesies nice and warm too if I'm working from home. But other than that, pretty much the same exact concept. Oh, mine has another feature. It also, has a butt flap. So if you gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the day, you got a butt flap. Mine's already looking better as time goes on. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try this on. I mean, sure, I look pretty good. I gotta say I look not bad and it's comfy enough. I would say that I don't necessarily look like I'm the evil genius of unnecessary inventions, but if I had to hop on some Zoom calls to look like a sales executive at a Fortune 500 company. Sure, I guess I look pretty good. We didn't look up what the price of this was though. So let's see, the original work one $59. I don't know how I feel about that price. Is it a lot? I don't know. I mean, for the most part, I'd say it does look pretty good and it feels pretty good. Oh, it says, it says there's a butt flap. Oh yeah, there's definitely a butt flap up in there. Okay, so they at least get a few bonus points for that. I'll be sure to put a link down to this one -y and all the other inventions that I tried out today down in the description if you do wanna go check them out. My boss has no idea how much fun I'm having on my lower legs right now during this Zoom call. If you guys have seen any other inventions that sort of resemble other inventions that I've made, go put them down in the comments and I'll look them up for a part two to this series because I think it was pretty fun to do. But with that, I'm gonna hop on a Zoom call, make people really confused as to why I'm in a dress shirt in my design studio. But with that, I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.